so here we have a massive battery this is a pps and the funny thing is that we are actually building our own pps at the moment haven't heard of wiggers yet but he bought this on aliexpress he used it about 20 time now it's 28 volts and it doesn't want to charge oh, it actually has a light yeah it's 48 volt massive charger 10 amps we can actually turn it on let's see if you can see that turning it on was no problem and here it says 44.9 volt not 28 volts has two EU sockets and um, what's this then oh it's the light okay it's the light but it's 11 percent and it does have two fans in here which is a must if you have an inverter it needs uh, cooling and it actually has wheels so it's a lot handier than ours balance well okay and Wipu connector 2 pin for charging 12 volt output and USB quite similar to ours but we have the inverter on the outside every part here you can probably get on Aliexpress if you want to build your own so first we verify that the charger is not working yeah i'm gonna lay the charger on here so you can see but it's not recommended that you have the charger on the battery and it has an on off switch that is off we turn it on we get the green and red led which is normal And one of the LEDs is actually flickering. It almost turns red, LED number two. So I think we have a problem with the charger or the connector. So let's see what we have here. It's 1.9 volt, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It could mean it's a resting charging port that only activates the voltage when it gets a charge so let's have a look inside this massive case unlocked unlocked <laughs> yeah and now we have live AC outlets we don't like that and they take an, an inverter and just remove the top casing, inserted it, extended the AC outputs. Anyway, we can uh, unplug the inverter and the AC outlets. Is this the main battery connector? Yes, this, but there are other wires as well. Okay. They, okay, they are just looped. These are looped, that one is cut, weird, these are going to, going into this mess, so they must be going up to the light or the on off switch, but let's disconnect the main power, not Anderson, but um, a version of the Anderson SP50, the AC can still have a lot of power, even if it's off. So let's see the actual battery voltage. Okay, it actually is 27.7, what he was expecting. Why is the meter on the battery saying 44? So maybe it's because it's turned off. Let's try again while turning it on. Then we have 45 volts. So he was measuring it um, while in the off position. And then it's 28, that's fine. But it is 45 volt. We don't want to charge. But I don't think there's any reason to op open up this battery. It would be cool to see what kind of cells it is, but we want to preserve it as is. So how are we going to try and charge it? Let's see if I can find a nice little adapter. It doesn't seem to have a dedicated charging line we will go with the green because i actually have these clamps for it so 
So yeah, that's pretty neat. And we have positive, and then we hold to start. It wanna start. It measures 45.1 volt, and it starts charging. So it's not a battery problem. It's um, rather the charging port or the charger. But we will stop there. We just wanna verify that it works. So let's find out why the charging port is only giving us one or two volts and then we need to connect this again it could be in rush current and sparks it's in let's make sure the battery the inverter is in the up position no no in rush current now we want to measure in the way per again that's a that's a weird voltage it should be the same as in the I think it's definitely a faulty charging port but we're not getting the exact same voltage but the strange thing is that the charging seems to go via the inverter for some reason but you can see it's really loose in there I don't think it's supposed to be that loose so we will tell him we will change the charging port we maybe have some good IP rating charging port but that will probably solve the problem <laughs>